All right, now I'm live, which I think I am. <laughs> Somebody make a comment? <laughs> oh, there's no viewers yet. <laughs> but anyway, I am live and I decided to switch cameras on right now so you get a better look at my collection let me uh, switch back so you can see there it is great to have a webcam that uh, is a gimbal uh, if you guys want to know what I'm having it's like um, Uh, let me see uh, let me see it's like um, there it is um let me see what I was gonna say uh, guys get a better view right now of what I got uh been bagging and boarding all day today uh, let's see got some silver age got some modern comic books got books that i brought back in the 80s um so have here current silver age and this one is current but for thicker books and um, as you can see, I got Infinity Gauntlet number one. And the Wolverine Limited series number one, which I think these are all worth money now. I know I have the entire limited series in, in one of the boxes. Also Wolverine, but I think these are extra number ones that I purchased. Got the Spider-Woman, only one and two. This is what I brought back when I was a kid. Some Fantastic Four. I think this is number 82, 12 cents, Silver Age or Bronze. Silver Age, I mean. 98 uh, Tales of Astonish Got Marvel Superheroes Hulk and Submariner Of course I got the Marvel Premiere Wonder Man And this is my favorite The Le Legion of Monsters Of course Man-Thing Morbius Werewolf by Night Ghost Rider Number 28, the Astonishing Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, number two, Captain Marvel 13, Captain Marvel number six, Silver Age, Captain uh, Marvel Spotlight on Captain Marvel. This was, I got two copies of this back then. This one looks a lot better. Master of Kung Fu versus Man-Thing. Yeah, like I said, most of these, I have to change their backboards and boards, plastic bags and boards on these. They've been They've been on these for years. Of course, I have the X-Men. This is a giant size X-Men and some that I have here. I sold most of my X-Men away in the early 2000s, but I kept some of the old ones. Let's see, I got I 
got Firestar, the limited series. Now this was the limited series that um put Punisher in the popular list back then. This was in 1985. I'm sure this is worth money now. It was only what? I think five or six issues. I think we well, yeah, got five issues. Good artwork on this. Let's see, let me put some of this stuff over here. I do have a man thing, number 14. I'm sure I have one with full, the first appearance of Fool Killer. Got some Punishers here. Giant size annuals. Of course, Moon Knight. These were back in the 90s. Uh, this was when Hobgoblin uh, turned into a demon. I like this issue. This was awesome back then. Anything with a little horror element in it, I would buy. Hey, what's up, uh, Samuel? Samurai? <laughs> Hobbs. What's up, Hobbs? I know I gotta look at the chat, but. Just showing what I got. Some 90s horror comics from back in the day. This is published, this uh, Nightmare Theater was published by Chaos Comics. As you can see, they had featured Dracula on the cover, Werewolf, Alien Invasion. These will have little short stories in them. Only four issues were published, Zombies. bit of horror elements here uh, I think this was a book maybe published into a comic maybe you guys know but this one had a little holographic uh, skull on it number one number two necroscope probably something about dead bodies I haven't read these in Years and years and years. <laughs> Published by Malibu Comics. Yeah, I had some heavy metal magazines, but I think there was only like maybe four or five. That was in my, um, I don't know if I showed that in my what do you call it? The magazine live stream? I probably did show it on that one. And of course, this was the Ultraverse. Published by Malibu Comics. Number zero of the Lord Punkin. I'm sure I have some issues of him in there somewhere. Mm. Like I said, all these got to get changed. Yeah, I got Iron Man. 35 cents, some old 
the first stealth suit. Probably worth some money, right? I'm not sure this is the new one he had on the red and the white one. I think it gets destroyed in this one. <laughs> he builds another one. This is my favorite issue. And this is the new armor he gets. This is the Astonishing and the Ant-Man one. I don't have a lot of Iron Man comics, just a few. But my favorite is the old one, the old style Iron Man suit. Of course, I have some Alien Invasions. Uh, this was by Topps Comics. Mars Attacks. I have the original, the first limited series around there somewhere. This is, I think this is the second one. Counter Strike. This is Counter Strike Part 2. Part 3. Yep. Martian Man Eaters. Of course, they went full blown horror on these. Counter Strike Part 4. The artwork is fantastic of these. Number 6. Send in the superheroes. <laughs> and number 7. They kind of went silly after that. This is a one shot. Baseball special. And I think this was Mars Attacks High School. One of two. Yeah, some upbeat limited series that I collected back then. Silly name for a superhero, Comet Man. Published back in the 80s. But it was actually a pretty good story. But obviously his character didn't go anywhere in the Marvel Universe. I'm not sure if it was a limited series or or was it an ongoing series. I think it was an ongoing series. Yeah, it was. Number six was the final one. <laughs> yep. I thought it was a limited series from what I remember, but it wasn't. It was actually published monthly, and they stopped that number... Six, it probably wasn't selling well. <laughs> it was actually a good story, though. His character never caught on. Of course, there's Punisher versus Batman. I think you guys seen this one already. And I think DC did this. Uh, Batman versus Punisher but they chose the the armored Batman it wasn't Bruce Wayne I think I would think it was somebody else in the suit but this is the old classic one that I like Marvel I think produced this one 
Yeah, Marvel produced this one. DC produced this one. But this isn't the Bruce Wayne one. Which is unfortunate. And I got some. Yeah, this is a limited series. I got them. I got them in the. In some short box somewhere. But this is number five and number six. They're probably another short box somewhere. The entire series. But this is Daredevil in the yellow suit. The yellow and red suit. What's up? Heroic Waffles. And these are all modern. Ultimate Spider-Man number 17. Unlimited Marvel team up. I think I stopped collecting after 2010. Stop, just stopped collecting. The stories were getting boring and it just they just wasn't good. I think after Civil War limited series, they just started going downhill after that. The stories were so I just stopped buying. Let me see if I find any. Got some what if comic books. Damn. I just saw something. Oh. What if comic books? Uh, Silver Surfer annuals. Thanks, man. They've been sitting in boxes for years. <laughs> These comic books have been. Yeah. I did get a reprint of uh, Spider-Man number one. Probably not worth anything, but... <laughs> I always wanted that one. Without spending millions of dollars for the original Spider-Man number one. Ah, my favorite book of all time, the Thanos quest. When he literally just takes the infinity gems. From all the cosmic characters. He was kicking butt and taking names. Of course, he became a god after he got all the uh, Infinity Gems. The giant size. This is a giant size one. Regular issue. Mm. Okay, here are all my what ifs. Thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty 
37, 39, 41, 42, and 35. I think this is the most popular one. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? Loved all the what if stories. Pretty good Avengers one. Of course, these stories didn't end well. <laughs> Somebody died or the planet was destroyed or the universe was destroyed. Um, they didn't end well. I like, I mean, there was some pretty good ones like, um, I think uh, Iron Man was trapped in time in King Arthur's court. You know how I like my time travel. Dazzler had become the Herald of Galactus, the disco superhero. Uh, this one's more like a comedy one. Comedy issue. They're in pretty good shape. This one I like too. What if uh, the beast and the thing continue to mutate? A little bit on the horror side. Oh, this is a good one too. What if Thor battled Conan? Another Submariner one. This is a really, really good one too. Um, what if the invisible girl had died? And of course, I think this is a popular one too. What if uh, Elektra had lived? The comic where she died is the most popular one. But of course, they bring her back. All right, time to start. <laughs> putting bags and boards on these. As you can see, some of these don't even have uh, backboards on them. Well, let's start with Thanos Quest. Like I said, these are four thick comics. And Thanos is pretty thick, book one and two. As you can see, these are old, very old comics. Pretty good shape, though. Pretty good shape. This one is more for thick comics. But it should fit in there nicely. Tight fit, but very nice. Fortunately, these don't have resealable tape. As you can see how old this is. This is yellow. I have to get some tape for this one. I had to buy some re resealable bags. And some of these aren't. Any horror news, guys? <laughs> Did you buy the... What should I say? Did you buy the uh, Hellraiser box set? Has it sold out yet? In 4K? Yeah, it looks really nice on there. Like I said, these are the thick bags and boards. Looks nice. Until they turn yellow five years from now, six years from now. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to change them for a while.
like I said, I brought a 1,000 um, bags, 1,000 boards, and then I brought this, 100 of these, and 100 silver. They look nice, though. Let's start with this one. Brought this back in the 80s. This is modern. Modern comic book. You can see Spider-Man number one. So that's current. After 1975, comic books are modern and current. As I got, I got the sealable one here. So I don't need any tape. I had to wait a while because um, they were on back order, the sealable plastics. But it does look good here. They're in pretty good shape. I'm surprised. You know, I just left them in the closet for years. And they're in pretty good shape. Let's try Master of Kung Fu. I think this is Silver Age. It's not the best condition in the world. Thanks. Uh, yep. Versus man thing. Little yellow stain on it. Like I said, I must have read this a couple of times. <laughs> I don't know. I think I would put this in silver a little bit. Nineteen seventy four. So, yep, silver. More like silver bronze. This is the bronze age. Looks good. This is 1979, so current. Captain Marvel number one. I definitely got two of these. Looks good. So this is current. Might be a tight fit for some of these. Pretty good though. Fits right in. I like the original Captain Marvel more <laughs> than the one that's out there now. Like you see, all these are old books.
He did die of cancer though, at one point. <laughs> and then brought back to life for a little while for a little while from what I remember. I think I got that comic. I'm not sure if this was the first superhero death. Of course, I have uh, number six. I have number two, Silver Age, and number 13. Let's see, you want guys want to check that out here? Looks like somebody wrote or stamped something on there. But it's a little dirty. Yep. Not in good shape, but it is number two. So that's Silver Age. Either way, it does look good when it's uh, in brand new plastic and boards. This is in better shape. Number six, Captain Marvel. Yeah, some of these books, not in great shape at all. I think I have a Spider-Man 12 cents around there somewhere. Silver Age. Amazing Spider-Man. I think it's 30-something I got. Of course, I'll have to look for it. Over here, I have uh, number one of Marvel Comics presents mostly featuring Wolverine of course I think this is worth money now I think they were published every two weeks from what I remember so they were published every two weeks and it mostly contains short stories of solo superheroes and their solo stories <laughs> or what I say solo <laughs> superheroes and their solo stories like Colossus 
Cyclops. Some pretty good artists did some covers for these. Life Field. Havoc. A lot of mutants. Pretty good series. These are all of them right here. What else do I should I show? I wonder if I showed everything. I've showed this already. Yeah, these are thick books. Thick, thick. Yeah, showed these already. <laughs> I think I showed everything. See if I got anything here. Got this one here. Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher. That's a thick book. something yep showed these already uh. that's it for now just don't have any room to put every comic book on here <laughs> since I'm using my bed right now um, this is a new one this is an annual from 1993 The Guardians of the Galaxy. Nineteen ninety one. Before they became popular. Silver Surfer Annual Number Two. Atlantis Attacks. That was a storyline that was going around. Life Form Part 4. I think uh, that storyline was going from annual to annual to annual. So I think I have Punisher. Yeah, Life Form. I have Part 1 of Life Form. In the Marvel Annual of the Punisher. And then I have Part 4. Which is crazy. It was a crazy story. Let me put these annuals together. Of course, there was number two, Atlantis Attacks. Namor's home. They decided to invade the Earth or countries. <laughs> This is annual two. Yeah, look how old this is. Very old comic books. Look how yellow that is, that backboard.
haven't read this one in a while. I think this was a one shot. A thick book. This was five bucks, six bucks practically. I think it's a poster here. A fold out. Fold out there. Yeah, this is a fold out. This is a large one. So I've been doing this all day today, guys. Just putting plastic bags and boards on all my comic books. Hey, Gleaming TV, what's up? I said some of these don't have resealable some of these bags don't have resealable um glue on them so I have to use the old fashioned way Yep it is a cool collection one day I'm going to sell them all. <laughs> this is pretty good. Punisher number one. Annual. Giant size. Somebody will appreciate it. But it will be a long time before I sell them. Of course, I like this one better. The Punisher versus Moon Knight. Atlantis Attacks. I think he's a little crazy in this one from what I remember. He goes nuts. They're working together. I think it was drugs or something that made him a little crazy. Yeah, Gleaming TV. <laughs> I think some of these boards and bags have been here for years. Maybe more than 15 years. In my collection. I mean, it's just time to start getting the new stuff and putting everything out. At least these are acid uh, free, the boards and the bag. And they do look nice. Once you put the bags and the boards on them, they look really nice.
gonna see if I could try to put them in the box. So, um, they could be, how do you say, um, recycled. Surprisingly, these are in good shape. Yeah, the bags and boards will go bad after about six, seven years. It depends how you, um, really depends how you store your comics. I know some people like change them after five years. You know, the really good collectors, but I think after six or seven years, you're pretty good. As long as you don't put them like in a place where there's like a lot of high heat, um, at least a cool, dark place. Like I have a put in a closet and. I put these in my closet, so they're in pretty good shape. Let me finish these Silver Surfer annuals. Like I said, you keep it in a nice cool place. These boards and bags should last you maybe seven, eight years. But then they'll start turning yellow. <laughs> and some of these bags and boards haven't been changed in maybe 15 years. So I said, you know what, it's time to, I was thinking about this last week and I said, it's time to change all this. A rare expensive issue. Hmm, I'm not sure gleaming TV. <laughs> Depends how good a shape they are. Like I wouldn't call this mint. Unless it's like near mint condition. Hmm. I think this is worth a lot. Uh, the first issue of the limited series. I think I brought two. I brought two number ones of this. And the rest of them I, I think there was only four. Four issues. Maybe more than that. It's kind of hard to remember. And this, the Infinity Gauntlet, I think this went up too. It depends on what kind of shape this is. I would say this is near mint. I do have a 12 cent Spider Man, but um, amazing Spider Man. But it could be good. It also depends if there's a first appearance of a character. Like, I think I have Avengers Annual Number 10. That's the first appearance of Rogue. And then she joined the X-Men after that. She was in the uh, Brotherhood of Deadly Mutants. I think that's going for some good money.
I think this is going for some good money too. Let me see if I can find it. See, some of these don't even have boards and anything. Let me see if I can find those issues. I think it's Weapon X. Not sure if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. I think these are going for a lot of money because this is the origin of Wolverine. If they're in pretty good shape. Weapon X. It was all origin of Wolverine, so I think that's going for a bunch of money. Mm. Of course, I have number one featuring Wolverine of Marvel Comics Presents. I think these have been here for a long time. This one's Guardians of the Galaxy. trying to get all these annuals out out of the way no oh, Nintendo power magazine so those are video game magazines right 400 They used to sell this book, um, The Comics Guide, and they used to put the prices of comic books back then. It was like a, every year they would publish it. It was a really thick book, and they would have all the issues numbered in the book, and now I think you could use an app nowadays. I think it was the comic book price guide. I don't know if you guys remember, if any of you guys remember that. Yeah, this is life form number four of four. So like I'm using the bags and boards that are a little thicker for these, for thick books. I think you're good to go.
I haven't gone to a comic book convention in years. I would say it was back in. I mean, on a, like a convention with all comic books. Like I've been to a horror cons, and they usually have, or like a mega con here in Florida. They usually have comic books and for sale there, but like an official comic book comic con kind of thing, no. <laughs> it's been years. I stopped collecting comic books back in 2010, around there. The stories just didn't grab me anymore, and they were getting pretty expensive. Look at this one. Look how old is this? Look at that. You can see the print in the back of this one. But it's still in good shape. <laughs> ah, that's crazy. That's current one here, right here. Current. That's how old that board was. Yep. Gleaming TV, I think you better start changing your boards and bags. <laughs> I bet you the other ones, I bet you number 33 has the same thing. This one's yellow too, I think. Yeah. It's a little print. You can see it a little bit. But it still looks good. It still looks like in good condition. Near mint. Oh, this one's already got a thing on it. I forget that some of these are resealable. Number 41. These are cheap boards right here. Very cheap back then. They're in pretty good shape. current this was in the 90s these comic books love moon night Terrible show on Disney Plus. Inferno. 
number 45 what year was this 92 it's current Yeah, don't watch the TV series. Awful. Hopefully one day somebody's going to do a really good movie adaptation of Moon Knight. Sort of like the Batman of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> This one has a hole in it. I think he quit the Avengers. If I remember correctly. Giant size 50th issue. I think this will fit here in the current looks pretty thick yeah this is mint condition <laughs> mint condition I don't know this is pretty it's too thick I'm gonna put it in this one. It's just way too thick. Yeah, it fits perfect. Yeah, this is in mint condition. I don't see anything wrong with this. Oh, I really like this one. This had Gambit, Werewolf by Night, and Moon Knight. I really like this story. This one looks really old. Yep, look how it's printed in the back. Well, but there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I think the comic books in the 90s are more sturdy. Paper quality is pretty good. Oh, somebody's asking me questions here. Sorry, guys. I've been... Okay, you want to know when the book started? The Wolverine ones? These? It says here... 1988. And these were published uh, twice a week. With Marvel Comics Presents. I'm sure I have some Wolverines that started. I kept those, I think.
Man, I don't, you want to know if I remember most of them? Probably not. <laughs> I remember the good ones. The ones that left me a lasting impression. That I was like, wow, what the hell? Yeah, this was printed in the back too. <laughs> it was a Mortal Kombat. The game. Back in 1993. Trying to get all these Moon Knights done. And then I'll start the What Ifs. Yeah, twice a week is a lot of comics. That's why it's, there's so much right here. Look at all these books. These are Marvel Comics Presents. Yeah, I like, I had to get the ones, the bags and the boards, I had to get them because these were like for thick comic books, this is for the Silver Age stuff, like, um, I would say this is current, 25 cents is bronze, so I would put, I would have to put these in the Silver Age bags. Last Moon Knight Current. Yep. Played video games back in the day. <laughs> the arcades in the 80s. There was an arcade um, in my neighborhood. We had Pac Man, we had um, Asteroid. And then we had like pinball machines too. It was a small place, but a lot of the kids would hang out in there. I think I even saw a Star Trek, um, the motion picture pinball. And like I said, these are thick. the Batman ones I like that but of course this isn't Bruce Wayne somebody else kind of like an alternate universe story with the Punisher and Batman together. I really liked those kind of books back then. Yeah. I think this is current. I need the big one, the thick one. There it is, it fits fine. Of course, this one is not resealable bag. Got to do it the old fashioned way. I like this one. Bruce Wayne 
and the Joker right here. I remember, um, I forget what happened to Bruce. Um, it was some other guy in that, in that suit. He took over for Bruce Wayne for a while. It's like an Iron Man suit. It was all with the claws and everything. <laughs> I forget what it was that he that why he um he wasn't in those books. I know it was somebody else. It wasn't the same guy. It wasn't Bruce. At least that's what I remember. And you know they're not going to agree on everything. The Punisher and Batman. I may have the Punisher Wolverine comic. I don't know. We'll see. Do I have that one? Maybe I have it. Yeah, I know. Scotch tape. I'm running out. Running pretty low. I got two. Let me see. Got two old ones. But some most of them are resealable. You know what I mean? That's what I was waiting for. The bags that are resealable. Of course, Finney Gauntlet number one. Current. Tight fit, but still good. You know what, I may have to put it, it's a little bit too tight for me. I may have to put it in, uh, in this one. It's a little too thick for my taste. Now it looks good. Of course, uh, fortunately these, I got a tape. The ones for thick comic books. Like I said, I've been doing this all day today, just bang boards. That means I must have more than a thousand. Just doing this all day. I think I have the limited series in another short box, but I have one of this and the other one. I'll have to check. Megaforce, the movie. You guys remember that? It was in 1982. Very popular character back then in the 80s. Wolverine. Nice. This is probably, I wouldn't say near mint. Very fine. Just make sure you change them all. They look really nice. Once you put them in new backs and new bags and boards, they look really nice.
All right, let's start with the what if. What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? Very popular story. I think at one time I saw they were selling this for like 50 bucks in mint condition. Look at that, I gotta cut it. That's how stuck this tape is in there. Back in the 80s. 1981. There are some places that can like flatten this and clean it up a bit but you got to send it to them and then pay some money I'm not gonna pay a 200 300 dollar <laughs> not 200, 200 like a hundred and something bucks just to ship and then you got to pay shipping and then they do it and then they got to sit send it back to you I think there's another company that grades them too. Yeah, it is kind of fun to look at them. <laughs> Just to see how, you know, I used to love these books back then. I used to probably read them like two or three times back then. I really like this story though. Of course, none of these what ifs ended well yeah, the universe blew up or somebody died or at the end of the story <laughs> they destroyed the universe they destroyed the earth but these are good stories not all of them were like that this is one of those cosmic stories I think everybody died in this one. The cosmic beings, Galactus. I think they joined to fight him. And everything blew up at the end. The universe was destroyed. Those were the better stories, though. Looks pretty good, man. It is fun, one. Doing, resealing them and make sure they're in good shape. I'm surprised that most of these look good. They've been in a closet for like years and years, moving from one apartment to another apartment to another apartment. Yeah, the early 80s comic book art was pretty damn good. And the 90s too. I would say the early 90s. I think once the... Uh, 2000s came around, came around, I think the art started to suck a little bit. I always like the original Iron Man suit from the 70s.
I still have uh, maybe four more boxes to go. Five boxes to go, I think. Well, I wish I could show you every copy, but I can't. We'll be here for six hours or so. Very nice, though. This tape is not coming off at all. That's how stuck it is in there. Sorry, sorry about that. I moved my mic. Do I have the Alien 3 screenplay? Nope, I don't have that. Yep, a lot of art is digitalized now. This is a comedy one. <laughs> Why they did a comedy issue, I have no idea. Of what if. But I got it. Couple of more what ifs, and I'll be done. I like this one though. This is a pretty good one. Thor versus Conan the Barbarian. Nineteen eighty two. The beast and the thing continue to mutate. I think this is too tight. I'm gonna have to use this one. Thicker comic books. This one doesn't have any resealable tape and glue. I only bought a hundred of those. Cartoon adaptation. Hmm. Cartoon adaptation. The original Spider Man that aired in the 60s? <laughs> I think they re aired those back in the 70s. I used to watch those all the time. This is too tight. Yeah, I have uh, Marvel Secret Wars, I think. They're around there. And I think they re they did a new series, too, in the early 2000s of Secret Wars.
I'm just checking out the book, see how little creases here and there, but pretty good. I may have to buy more of these current modern plastic bags and boards because these are pretty thick books. At least the what ifs. Avengers movie number six is the Secret Wars. I don't know. I tuned out of the Super of the Marvel Cinematic Universe after Endgame. So they haven't been very good after that. I think that's a new team too, a new Avengers team. And I'm just not interested anymore. I wish I was, but the stories are sucking now. Awful Moon Knight TV series. Don't care about Kamala Khan. And I have a feeling they're going to ruin the new Daredevil TV show. Really bad writing. A travesty what they did to Shio. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, that's what happens when you hire people that are that suck at writing. All they care about is their own personal agenda. Hey, you were going to see Nightbreed in 4K? Let me know how the picture is. <laughs> I was thinking about getting that. But I want the, the, the long cut. I sold all my uh, Daredevil comic books, and I think I had the death of uh, Elektra in it, and this was a what if if she had lived. This one's Yellow Jacket had died. That one's a tragic story, if I remember correctly. But she did come back. Uh, they brought her back to life again. You know, nobody stays dead in the... Marvel Universe. But yeah, the movies... The movies... The Marvel movies just haven't been good lately. So I gave up. I'm definitely not watching that Captain Marvel one. The Marvels... DC is sucking too. I'll stick with my old comic books. Master of Kung Fu. Anybody remember those? Let me get these old ones out of the way. This did not have a backboard or anything like that, so I'm pretty sure these are... Hey, this is in good condition. Just creases on the side. Modern. I 
wonder if this is um what's that organization again? You guys remember? Is it Shield versus somebody else? <laughs> I forget who it is. I think he's with Shield in this one. Yeah, if I were releases the Nightbreed 4K, yeah. I'm down for getting that, the long cut. Because I missed out on the other one. Can't wait to get Hellraiser in 4K, though. Cannot wait. That's going to look really nice. I hope it looks really nice. Yeah, I have some DC, I think, around here somewhere. <laughs> or I might have sold them. I don't remember if I sold some. I know I had a Green Lantern one where he stole all the rings. Maybe you remember that. He stole all the rings from all the other lanterns and went crazy. That was an awesome story. He went a little nuts back then. Hal Jordan. I think I may have that or I may have sold it. I sold half of my collection back in uh, the early 2000. I think it was 2000. Hey, there's something wrong with this. Won't go all the way through. Defect. I don't like that. My OCD is working overtime. It won't go down. Nope. OCD. Don't want it. Ah, perfection. Looks nice. It looks nice, but I know the the spine isn't misaligned, so it's not mint condition. Maybe very fine. And these didn't have backboards on them, but they still look in good shape. Current size from 1975 and up, unless they're really thick. Then I got to use the uh, modern and current bags and boards for that. But these fit nicely. These are the current bags and boards. Not sure what you're talking about. Master, remaster the DC.
You mean a, a reboot? Not really nice. He was always fighting a ninja or kung fu guys. <laughs> I only have maybe a few issues of Matt. Master of Kung Fu, Shang-Chi. Another awful movie. I saw that on streaming and I said, oh, they screwed that one up too. That's why I just stopped watching them after a while. Why couldn't they make a gritty Shang-Chi movie, a gritty, streetwise? You gotta make it about magic and shit, silly shit like that. I always consider him a street, street kind of hero, like uh, Punisher and Moon Knight, Spider-Man. Fuck that up too. I'm surprised they never did a Man Thing movie or a series. I think they showed him in one of the series. Maybe you guys remember that, the Werewolf by Night one. I think he was in that one. In Disney Plus. I didn't see that one. This one's got some blue ink on it. You see this? People used to cut this out of the comic books. Luckily, this one is there. <laughs> you remember how they sold all those things? <laughs> these bring back memories. Yeah, toy toy soldiers for a dollar and seventy nine. You get Roman soldiers. This one has blue ink on it. I don't know how that got there. Looks like it's splattered. Most of these have them on there. I'm not sure if it was the printing place. Probably was. Maybe it was the printing place. Yeah, Avengers, the Avengers Endgame was pretty good. And then after that, it, the Marvel Cinematic Universe went downhill. <laughs> I heard Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is pretty good. I may check that out on streaming. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm done with the MCU. I think I may have the Avengers first appearance of Hank Penn somewhere around here, but this is Ant-Man's first issue and first appearance, maybe, in his own little series. Not first appearance, but his own little series, Hank Penn. This might be Hank Penn from the Marvel movies. I may have that issue, Hank Penn, um, 
Avengers issue. First appearance of Hank Pym. I think that's going for some good money. Yeah. This may have to go to, it's too tight. Let me see if this is 1970. I may have to put it in this one. If it's too tight, I won't do it. Because this is a 35 cent. This is after 1979. May have to buy more tape. Let's see. Like this issue, Legend of the Monsters. This is Marvel Premiere. Yeah, not in great shape. I did read this a few times, so love that team up. Let me see if it'll fit here. I doubt it, but I may have to use this one. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I bang, I, I left it. I, <laughs> isn't that guy in trouble, the actor? <laughs> Who played uh, Kane the Conqueror? He got his own legal issues. I think this is the first time Wonder Man is in this one. I wonder if they named that Wonder Man because of Wonder Woman. He might have changed his name. Became another superhero from what I remember. Not in great shape. This is lots of creases and everything, but it is the first issue with him solo. But I did buy this back then. I still have it. Yeah, like I said, I've been doing this all day today and I'll probably be doing it tomorrow just to upgrade everything. Yeah. Now this is a silver, I would say, yep. Silver age book, 25 cents. Bronze, early bronze, silver age. So that will be have to go to this one. I think this is I think this is before 1975. Yep, 1974. So I have the Silver Age bags and boards. Yeah, 
Yeah, got a 12 cent. <laughs> Submariner and the Incredible Hulk. Tales of a Tales to Astonish. 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 <laughs> Not in great shape, but still good. I think I have some sub Submariner comics from the 80s. I used to buy all those comic books back then. I was into Submariner. I was into the, unpo the unpopular heroes and uh, anti-heroes. It was either Punisher, Submariner, um, Wolverine, Daredevil, Spider-Man, definitely, a lot of Spider-Man books I used to buy. Yeah, I literally grew up with Spider-Man, hell. Nice Fantastic Four issue here. Number 82. What year was this? Nineteen sixty-eight. Pretty good shape though. Silver. Mm -hmm. Probably worth money. You never know. But it is that it does have the Inhumans on it. You never know. Probably hundreds, hundreds of dollars. The Fantastic Four movies. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they were okay, I guess, for their time. Spider Woman number one and number two. I think this is going for a lot of money in a mint, near mint condition. Mine is not near mint condition. I would say, yeah, it's a lot of creases around it. A lot of people be cutting out stuff on these, so you got to be careful. Probably the 70s this came out. 1978. Say current. If it fits. No, not current. Yeah, it is current. I don't know if it's going to fit, though. It's going to be pretty tight. But it fits, though. Only two issues I have. But but just to have it. Just to have a number one. Yeah, the X Men movies were pretty decent. What is this, going over two hours now? <laughs> when did I start at six? I think this is gonna be my last one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna 
end the stream in a couple of minutes. Yeah, this one's pretty damaged. Yeah. Inside it looks good. But there's like a stain here or something. Looks like it got wet. Looks like it might have been got wet by something. I, well, probably when I brought it, I didn't look at it too good. I think it was probably... Probably picked it up from a convention, maybe. Like I said, I didn't start buying comics till late 70s. Well, guys, let me see if I yeah, I think this is too long, almost two hours of me babbling on. Yeah, it looks like it was probably water damage, but it's too bad, though. But anyway time to go guys hopefully you enjoyed this stream and I'm still gonna be putting bags and boards today tomorrow until I finish yeah it was long <laughs> it's over two hours I only got two people watching so But hopefully more people will see this stream afterwards. But hey guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end it now. I'm getting tired. Oh, hopefully you enjoy it. Maybe I'll do a part two if you guys want to see that. If you don't, let me know in the comments section. Oh, well, see you guys later.